Hello guys, my name is Madhur and welcome to my channel. This is the 39th tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell scripting. In this tutorial, we're going to learn to use the while loop. And while loop is one of the three iteration statements that Unix provides us. And uh, the other two are the until loop and the for loop. And we'll be checking them out too in this course. But for the time being, let's just concentrate on while. Now, what is while loop and why do you use it? While loop is uh, something that comes in handy when you have to do something in your script over and over again. For example, if you are preparing a script that displays uh, a message to the user on screen 100 times or 500 times, then you wouldn't want to use uh, echo uh, you know, at 100 different lines or 500 lines in your shell script. Instead, you wouldn't want to use a construct that instructs the shell that, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to type in echo statement you know, at one line in my script and I want you to execute it, you know, 100 times or 500 times or as many times as you want. So uh, that's why we use the while loop and let's learn the syntax of while by creating a simple shell script. So I have my text editor here and I've saved this file in the home folder. I've given it the name while in the extension sh and what this script file is going to do is it's going to display numbers from 1 to 10 on screen, right? So it's going to do a very simple task. And uh, there are three things that you have to keep in mind while using the while loop. And the first thing is to declare and initialize a control variable. And that's nothing but a variable that the loop uses uh, to do what it does. And the second thing is to put the control variable in a test condition that the loop evaluates before each iteration. And the last thing is to increment or decrement the value of the control variable so that the loop gets a fresh value for the control variable before evaluating the test condition each time, right? So on the second line in my script, I'm going to type in a variable name and it's called count and I'll give it the value one, right? I'm giving it the value one because I want to start printing numbers one onwards. On line three, I'm going to type in the keyword while and I'll follow it up with a space and then I'll type in my square brackets. And within these square brackets, I'm going to type in the test condition that the while loop will evaluate before each iteration. And only if this test condition will return an exit star is zero, or, you know, if this test condition will evaluate to true, will the body of the loop get executed? And if it evaluates to false, then the loop will do nothing, right? So I'm going to type in the test condition for this script. It's going to be dollar count less than equal to 10. And I'm typing in 10 there because I want to print numbers from 1 to 10. If suppose you want to print numbers from 1 to 100, then all you have to do is uh, change 10 here to 100, right? So it's going to be that simple. And on line 4, I'll type in another keyword and this one's called do, right? We are now inside the body of the while loop and we can type in the statements that we want the loop to execute over and over again. So the first one of these statements is going to be echo dollar count. And this will uh, display the value of count on screen. And on line six, we will increment the value of count so that on uh, the first line, one gets printed, and on the next line, two gets printed, and on the next line, three gets printed. That is, we get a fresh value on each line, right? So the way I will increment the uh, control variable is I'm going to use expr and uh, follow up with a space, and then type in the variable dollar count, the addition symbol, and I'm going to add one to its value. And uh, I'll assign this value to my variable. So count gets the value expr plus uh, dollar count. And since I'm just concerned with the output of this expression, I'm going to put this expression within reverse quotes, right? So on line seven, I'm going to type in another keyword and this one's uh, done. And this is the last keyword for the script. So these three keywords, while, do, and done are part of the while syntax and you have to remember them, right? So Let's uh, talk about how this loop works. While will uh, evaluate the exit status of this condition. That is, it will check whether this is true or not. And count initially is one, and one is obviously less than 10. That's why these two statements will get executed. But for the next iteration, count will not have the value one. Instead, it will have the value two. Why? Because we've incremented it by using uh, expr on line six, right? So two is still less than 10, so these statements will get executed again. So for the next iteration, count will get three, and three is still less than equal to 10, and this will keep on happening till count gets the value 11. And that's why uh, when we will see the output of the script, you, you see that 11 won't get printed and only numbers from one to 10 will get printed. So I'll save the script file, I'll bring up my terminal and uh, I'll execute the script by typing in sh space while.sh. And there you go in the output, you see that numbers from one to 10 are being uh, printed. So 
that said i hope you people have understood how the while uh, loop works the purpose behind this tutorial was to make you guys familiar with the syntax of while i could have chosen a more complicated application this is you know obviously pretty simple displaying numbers 10 numbers on screen but you know we leave the complicated part for some other tutorial in this course I just want you guys to you know practice the syntax a while for the time being and uh, once you master it you'll be able to understand until and for pretty easily right so in the next tutorial we're going to check out the until loop till then thank you so much for watching this tutorial and i'll see you guys in the next one please subscribe to my channel